So this was actually interesting. We um we put up a poll a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to see where people stood on the topic. And so we just basically said, should martial arts be allowed or taught in prison? And we're going to go ahead and bring up the results right now just so we could take a look at it. But um, it's as of now, as of the time of the stream, it says that 40% of our viewers say yes, it should be allowed in prison. 60% of our viewers say no. And what I find really interesting about this is normally when we put polls out, the numbers will fluctuate. Like we'll see a, you know, a heavy shift towards yes, a heavy shift towards no. We'll see a wild swing. This never did. This poll kind of started out at like 39 yes, 61 percent no, and it only kind of wavered about two percentage, three percentage points at most. But it pretty much locked here. So, what is your impression of just the initial poll results? The the, the reaction to to this question. Basically, my reaction is, you know, uh, well, I mean, that pretty much answers it. That people feel that you know, prisoners do not need to uh, study martial arts. I, I guess also it makes them feel that um, martial arts, they automatically feel that it's uh, more of a deadlier, not deadlier, but it's almost as a, a giving a prisoner a weapon. I, th I have a mm -hmm. funny feeling that's what most people feel that's what's going on, is that it actually increases the chances of violence. And that's my gut feeling of it. Um, and I can see that I can see that being the first gut refueling. Like I do not want to give, you know, a prisoner, uh, more chances of doing violence and everything. I mean, what do you read by the first reactions here? Um, uh, I'm actually a little bit surprised. There's actually a lot more people that said yes than I expected there to be. I, I thought it was going to be wildly unbalanced. Um, it, this actually kind of triggered the thought because I actually came across an article um, there's in, in the UK, apparently they had prison or they had boxing programs that were in prison and the politicians came in, they put a ban on it. And there's been a struggle back and forth between that and, and, and the debate is raging over there, whether or not they should bring that program back. And that got me thinking, it's like, well, yeah, I mean, I mean, that it, it's a double edged sword. Um, but I do believe that there's a lot of gray area and maybe that's why the poll is a little bit closer than what I expected. Like I, I thought we were going to have like a 20% yes, 80% no sort of balance. Um, but I want to read off just a couple of basic points of what some of the people that said yes, what their, what their inclinations were. Um, a lot of people said that, you know, people have had life improvements through the martial arts. So martial arts is definitely great for that. Uh, many people felt that yes, there should be martial arts in prison, but only if it's Kata or Tai Chi or something more on the pacifist side. Uh, they say, yes, it's because it's life changing. And if you can change one person's life through it, then it's worth it. Uh, martial arts makes us better people and prisons are supposed to be about rehab anyway, even though they're treated like a punishment system. Martial arts is also a way to rehabilitate oneself. It brings balance to body, mind and spirit. Um, it might even serve as confrontation prevention. You know, a lot of people in the martial arts, they learn conflict resolution. I mean, we're talking about a different environment, so I'm not sure how well that plays in there. But then something else was really interesting, too, is um, some people were saying, and I'm, I'm curious if there's any statistics out there that we can look up. A lot of people commented that when martial art programs and boxing programs were allowed in prison, that they saw um, a sharp decline in stabbings or, or violence outside that this provided an outlet. So I thought these were a lot of really good points. And just kind of curious, what are your impressions on these points, like the positives? Like, what, what do you think comes to mind from, from that? Well, my, 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 my thinking of the points are a lot of them are valid and actually interesting uh, on points. My, my first reaction, like I said, is like, whoa, wait a minute. You don't want to be teaching people. But once again, there's a lot of people that go to, go to prison for multiple reasons. Not everyone goes to prison for, for violent crimes and not everyone should go to prison. Uh, um, you know, that's a whole different story with America about everyone going to prison. But also, too, is some people go to prison because of robbery, theft, nonviolent, violent crimes. And I think actually having something that um, gets them stimulated into a culture or something that they didn't have before uh, is actually a great thing. You know, if it's if it's through art, music, dance or even martial art, because I mean. You know, I'm a big proponent for that martial art can definitely change someone's life. So, yeah, I, I absolutely do believe that martial arts even teaching. But the other thing, too, is I also look at it the other way, which the guy was talking about, that when prisons had some sort of martial art program or boxing program, the, the, the stabbings went down. I also think about the people that go to prison that 
not go because they're because they're nonviolent and they're in with violent people and they feel threatened they feel in danger that they will lash out more more aggressively with weapons they will you know the whole we all heard the whole stereotype of first day you go to prison you find the biggest guy in the room and you beat him up so that was there but if you know how to defend yourself i find it that you're the person that feels more comfortable because you're not as threatened knowing around um of other people around you that may be violent towards you 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 don't feel that you need to necessarily carry a knife you know or a shiv in that case every place you go because you know how to handle yourself and and uh defend yourself um also too is you know compares to you know prisoners um against prison guards that's a whole other story too if they use it against let's say prison guards my question is you know we should have you know added with prison guards in there that they'll n- never be threatened because if they're if one person can threaten a prison guard then i'm like hey we you know we should have more prison guards in there so that that never becomes an issue so yeah. um this is we got a couple of interesting comments here um dan strickland says that he thinks a lot of people have very little experience with prison and prisoners so they tend to speak from stereotypes that might not represent reality and i think that's actually a great perspective i mean no matter how much you and i talk about this we kind of contemplate the topic is we don't have the experience of being there. We don't know the environment firsthand. So this is all just kind of um, subjective thinking and what you know, trying to look at it the the topic from all angles. But I think he's absolutely right. There's a lot of people, and maybe that reflected in the comments as well too, that don't have the experience with the prison system and might be speaking on that gut reaction or whatever stereotypes. And like you said, it was pretty, um, pretty obvious that a lot of the assumptions were violent criminals because when you think of i mean what is the number one word that comes to your mind when you hear of a convicted prisoner like what what image pops in your head yeah very violent gang um gang uh first person in a gang person that's tended to violence your standard yeah i mean we all have seen the shows you know uh hbo oz uh orange is the new black so we, we always predict the worst of people but i mean also too is i i heard once from a prison guard he mentioned the fact is the one reason that they give all the perks um to prisoners is the fact is if you're in prison and you have nothing to look forward to every day then you're going to be more violent more um and basically be more um, out of control versus if you have a lot of things such as art classes and different recreational things to go to because you're going to keep you busy instead of um, idle hands. But also, too, is it gives a tool for the corrections or the or the guards to take away those things as punishment. So a little more controlling issue. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Now, we also have a comment here from my wife, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Um, Hi. She mentions that um, she says the mediation kata aspect would, I think, help with emotional fortitude, anger, and management and respect. And she said that when mediation is introduced to children's school detention programs, the students in school and home behavioral issues improved in test programs. And that that's actually true because the, the little bit of experience that I've taught, again, this is different than the prison system, but just teaching in, in school with kids, there were a lot of kids that came through that had a lot of problems, whether they be at home or behavioral issues or whatever struggles were going on. And we did see an improvement through the martial arts. And it wasn't always about teaching them how to fight, but just getting them to focus on something, finding a rhythm, finding a path to put that energy into can sometimes be a benefit. And we definitely saw that. So maybe that is an aspect that could play a role in in the prison system as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, basically anything that that can connect with somebody. And also, too, is let's also face it, too. A few people, even people that end up in prison, they're usually – more type a type of people more aggressive more manly in the in the male prisons or even if i don't even know the female prisons even but more aggressive more type a having an outlet where that you actually get to channel some of that actual aspect of it into some positive reinforcement versus negative might actually be a good thing i i absolutely agree with that and i do want to read one particular message because i thought this touched on a lot of different talking points we're going to get into so um donald king actually responded to the poll 
And he said, having worked in the penal system, the amount of hand-to-hand self-defense martial art training for corrections officers is in many instances woefully lacking in substance Mm. and availability. Therefore, it makes this question an irresponsible one unless and only if the question is applied to better training strictly for corrections officers. Why, in the name of common sense, would anybody want to provide martial training of any quality or quantity that would give its practitioner, in this case an offender, an obvious edge of resistance? In closing, my suggestion would be that for any well-meaning established instructor in any discipline to first apply for and be employed as a corrections officer, but then don't be satisfied to work in a trustee dorm area, but however, ask to be stationed in an administrative lockdown, and only then you'll experience the answer to this ridiculous question. I think there is an awful lot of meat on those bones, and I think many, many of those points are extremely valid and worth talking about, and we're definitely going to um, have a chance to break down to all of that, but what was just, what, what is your thought on that on that overall reaction? Uh, well, basically, uh, that right there is that, you know, we are not training our our, uh, our, our guards properly, that, that the fact that they do not get martial art training of some sort of self-defense is kind of scary, and... Uh, shows a problem automatically right there um yeah i have yeah i definitely have to agree with that so um all right so we're going to start breaking out some topics because there's a lot of points that brought up our viewers are bringing up points there was a lot of comments in the poll so we're definitely going to um let's get into the media discussion if you are just finding this now on youtube if you're watching this clip playback then we're actually going to challenge your views on the subject whether you're for or against it so we're going to have a lot to talk about so click on the link right here if you're watching this later and jump in i want to hear your comments and let's break this sucker down <laughs> 